Hey, what's up, <clears throat> everybody? This is uh, Daniel Sun doing a review today. But before I get to my review, I want to say a thank you to uh, Joe Berta and Neil from Fragranica Video Reviewer for suggesting that I do this and push me into doing this review. Um, but I want to say thanks to y'all for uh, recommending this um, for me to do. And also, um, a thank you and a shout out to everybody who's watching this and uh, the people who support my YouTube channel. Um, when I first started doing this little venture of mine, um, fragrance reviewing, um, at first there was quite a few people who were supporting me and uh, commenting on my videos, but a lot of them seemed to have disappeared somewhere. And uh, I don't hear much from a lot of people that I used to, but the ones who stuck with me and the ones who still support me, this video, this uh, review is for y'all. So thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. Uh, my review today is, um, it's supposed to be a clone or interpretation of Reeve Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, 2003, I believe, when uh, Reef Gauche um, first came out. But this is supposed to be um, fine accoutrements take on that fragrance. And it is called American Blend. Um, this is an EDT. Um, fine accoutrements actually does a lot of shaving, aftershaves, and um, aftershave um, soaps and creams and stuff like that, but they actually have a couple of um, Eau de Toilettes um, EDTs that they have come out with, and this is one of them. It's called American Blend, or AB, uh, take off on uh, Reeve Gauche, and uh, I'll show you the box. The uh, box is just a simple, just a simple, straightforward box. It has the uh, little... Uh, um, I guess you could call it a classic or old-fashioned type of photo there. And uh, it's just your simple box, nothing special, which is okay with me. I don't care for any, um, I don't care much that uh, much about presentation or the boxes or anything, anything like that. But the, uh, the bottle is, um, the same picture is on the box. It's sort of uh, old-fashioned, it looks like maybe 1950s photo of a guy, I guess, after he had shaved, and the AB a, for American Blend right there. Um, the whole bottle is black. It's a pretty heavy bottle, um, pretty thick bottle. This is, uh, actually, I think this might be um, bigger than a 3.3 fluid ounce. I think this might be a 4-point ounce, or a 4-ounce, um, which is 100 and 25 milliliters, I believe. So this is a lot of fragrance in this. Um, but before I tell you my thoughts on that, I'll tell you the notes. And I got these notes off um, Fine Accoutrements website. Um, I actually uh, asked them to send me the official notes, and they actually sent it to me through email. And, and uh, these are the accurate notes. The top notes are lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, and plum. Heart notes is basil, geranium, lavender, pink peppercorn, muguet, which you spell muguet, M-U-G-U-E-T, and carnation. Um, base notes is cedarwood, patchouli, musk, powdery nuances, oak moss, vanilla, and labdanum. So those are the official notes. Um, this is supposed to be... Um, a barbershop style fragrance or um, the Reef Gauche is anyway it's supposed to be a barbershop fragrance and I've never been able to get my hands on Reef Gauche before but to me this is this does have that barbershop type of fragrance um, a soapy type fragrance but I'll tell you what this reminds me of especially with that plum note it's a combination of Pinod Clubman after shave, it's a combination of that and Lacoste Pour Ohm. I don't know how many of you are familiar with this, but this has a very dominant note of plum in it. 
So it's actually, this American blend is actually a combination of Pinade and the uh, Lacoste Pour Homme. And I like this fragrance a lot. <clears throat> um, the main the main notes to me the the most dominant notes in this to me are plum which i love lavender musk which i think the lavender and musk um give it that little bit of uh, barbershop style fragrance vanilla powdery nuances and oak moss so a lot of these notes actually are in true barbershop fragrances but the plum and lavender are very prominent, uh, dominant in this fragrance. And I like this. Um, it's just a really, 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 really nice smell. Uh, very pleasant to me. Very pleasant to my nose. I like these style of um, fragrances a lot. Um, the accords to me are sweet, green, floral, herbal and I think it's very a very masculine scent and I'm not saying that females can't wear this but just in general I think this is a really masculine scent um, in general I like this fragrance a lot I like this type of fragrance and the style of fragrance so if you can get your hands on this I would suggest get it getting it i'll put the links in the description on where you can get it and a link in the description on the website so you can check this out um i also wanted to do something else um i actually have got this idea from a different a couple of different people um sort of like a questions and answer type of thing um, if y'all ever want to know anything about me or have any questions, put them down in the comment section and I might actually do a specific, uh, video on if, if I get enough questions about me personally or anything, I might make, you know, an answer video to those questions, you know, like a separate video for that. But yeah, the longevity on this too is pretty good. This is a um, EDT, and it's not like a beast mode or anything, but I get a good seven hours longevity on this and a good two hours projection. And uh, it does have that soapy herbal vibe, um, but it does have a lot of floral and plum in it too, which is a nice twist on the barbershop fragrance. I don't think I've ever had a true barbershop fragrance that had plum in it, but that's a really, really nice take on the barbershop fragrance. But yeah, if you can get your hands on this and you like those type of fragrances, um, look for the link in the description on where you can get it. I, I'm pretty sure this is a four fluid ounce, which is a lot of fragrance, and I got this I think for $23 on their website, so it's very, very inexpensive. But anyway, um, my next video, I'll let y'all pick what you want to see. And uh, this one is another um, product for from Fine Accoutrements. It's called uh, Classic Aftershave. It's called Santal Absolute. It's a really, really good creamy sandalwood aftershave. And... Uh, I don't see a lot of aftershave reviews, but most of the males in the groups and everything shave, so I'm not sure why I don't see a lot of a lot more aftershave fragrances, but this is a really beautiful scent and a really beautiful fragrance. I love sandalwood, so this fits me perfectly. And another one that come out that I've been wearing since I think 1982 that has sentimental value too but this is like such a great fragrance and i never i never hear anything about this either it is paul sebastian fine cologne come out in 1979 i think this since 82 since i've been wearing this i think this is like my fourth bottle and this is a humongous bottle this is eight fluid ounces and you can see already how much i've used in like two years i got this like two years ago so I can do a review on that and 
another one that I'm really getting into is uh, um, pie. I know most of y'all have heard about this. A really good winter fall fragrance. It has a lot of vanilla in it. But I can do this also. Um, just let me know what, what you want. So anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.